Hey everybody, it's Dr. Megan Pico from JRSFullFit and Polly.com. This is Hank. He is about an eight-year-old beagle. Um, he was found 10 days ago lying in the backyard. His owners found him. Um, they brought When they brought him to me, he was what we call lateral, rec lateral recumbent, so he was lying on his side. He was very stiff, very rigid, so all four legs were out. His head and neck were really stiff. Um, he was unable to stand, he was una unable to walk, and if you touched him at all, he would cry out in pain. Um, he was really painful everywhere. He had trembling, which he still has now, but he was not moving his head around at all, and he was really stiff and rigid. Um, if this happens to your dog, a couple of things to do immediately. One, look for any signs of trauma. So the first thing we're gonna worry about is, you know, did he fall over, did something happen, is there some damage somewhere? So look him over from head to toe. You've gotta be really careful, because these guys tend to be really painful. Um, when he came in, I suspected immediately that he had IVDD, that's inner vertebral disc disease. If you look at my name or you look at my blog, I've got quite a few blogs on IVDD, so there's a lot of information there. Um, the other thing that I want to do, so after you look for any signs of trauma, the next thing to do is to put, um, typically I'm going to say put a flea and tick a tick preventative on. There's a disease called tick paralysis, so that's one of the things I, wor I worry about. So look for any evidence of any ticks, remove them, and then also put up, if they haven't, if they're not current on their tick preventative, put one on them. Um, the next thing to do is to see your veterinarian. Go immediately to the veterinarian. Typically, they're going to do an exam. If they suspect IVDD, they're going to want to do an x-ray too. X-rays can be somewhat insensitive, but they can give you some clue that there's no other trauma elsewhere. Um, um, he was so painful that he was unable to move any of his limbs, but he did have what we call deep pain. So if you pinched his toes really tightly, so if you went in and you pinch it really tightly, he would both withdraw and he would go, he was painful. So that's really important. It says that the brain is talking to the limb and that means the spinal cord is intact. So that's a really, really important prognostic indicator. Um, the next thing that we did was we put him on supportive care. The, in my neck of the woods, the typical treatment for an acute intervertebral disc disease dog is we want to send them to a neurologist, ASAP. They will do an MRI to confirm the evidence of um, disc trauma and then they want to go right to surgery. The MRI is about 20 $2,500 and the surgery is somewhere between five and seven thousand. So for some of these guys, it's seven thousand dollars to ten thousand um, dollars, which was cost prohibitive for his family. So they decided to do um, medical supportive care. Um, I'm going to do another video about all of that, but you know this video is really about immediately if you find your dog down, painful all over, unable to use the back legs or unable to use the front legs and back legs, go immediately to your veterinarian. Um, hopefully they're going to do an exam, they're going to do a radiograph, that should be probably about 100 or 200 bucks. Um, definitely want to address fleas and ticks, make sure there's no ticks on there because because of tick paralysis, look for any signs of trauma, and then we start talking about some of the neurologic diseases, and there are quite a few of them. Um, your veterinarian can work them up for you. If you have any questions, you can find me anytime at pavley.com, or you can find me here at Jared Fulvet. Take care, and wish Hank well. He's doing much better. Say bye, Hank. Bye.